In this session, I'm going to take you through the process of provisioning a new company. So, step one, of course, is to log in to the SAP Business One Cloud Control Center. I'll go in, put in my username and password, and choose Log On. This now brings me into the main user interface. I'm going to go across into Application Management. Now, I'm going to add a new company to an existing tenant. So, I choose Tenant, and then I specify the tenant that I want to add the company to. I click down here in Company Database and you can see I already have one existing company. So I'm going to click on New and it's going to open up the Create Company Database Wizard. I specify the company name that I want to put in and in many respects this is exactly the same as the process that you would go through uh, doing this inside SAP Business One. So I give my company a name then I'm going to specify if it's Productive, Testing or Demo in this case, I'm going to say it's a demonstration company. The next question is going to ask you is going to say, OK, now choose your localization. In this case, I'm going to pick Australia and then it'll give you a list of the available charts of accounts. I'm going to pick the standard chart of accounts and then I'm going to give the company a description. I put in that this is my OEC Computer Australian demo company. I'll say next. Next step is to specify how is your financial year structured. So I'm going to say my period um, or my sub periods are going to be months. And then I'm going to put in a period code so that when this database gets created inside SAP Business One, uh, it has all the right period codes that I choose to work with. And I'm going to pick this as FY12 because this is going to be my financial year 2012. And this will name my periods then FY1201 through to FY1212. Now this is an Australian company and the Australian financial year begins on the 1st of July. So I'm going to say from the 1st of July 2011 and the financial year finishes on the 30th of June in 2012. So I'll just navigate through and pick the 30th of June and say next. And that's it. The company database is now being created and we'll give that a couple of seconds to finish. And that's it. Our company database is now created quick easy very very simple now you'll see that I now have two companies that are available I have my OEC company and I have my ANZ company you can see it's online it's a demo company and that's pretty much all there is to it so the next step would be to go into SAP Business One and start the configuration process in detail. Now an alternative would be, as I do, to have a series of SAP Business One databases already pre-configured and then all I need to do is actually restore that database into this existing company and I am ready to go. So hopefully you've now got an understanding of how quick and easy it is to create a new company utilizing the SAP Business One Cloud Control Center.